Lewis, right? Yes, sir. Mr. Lee, please, come on in. Have a seat. to excuse me if I seem a bit fatigued. Sleep was last on the agenda last night. I get it. Don't take this the wrong way, but I expected you to be a little older. <laughs> Look at you. In my office, less than a minute, you're already kissing my behind for the job. No, I didn't mean it. Like... <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. How was the drive? It was a nice view. Is traffic usually this bad in the city? You should see it during the holidays. It's something you're going to have to get used to. You're going to move to the area, correct? I hope so. If I obtain employment, I may have to commute a few weeks. Well, look, your resume, your cover letter, very impressive, very well written. And while you might not have a lot of experience in pursuing your field, uh, I see reliability. I limited my job pursuit to finish school. Oh, I'm aware. Master's in English Literature and a Bachelor's in Business Management. Uh, says here you went to UCLA. I did. We've got that in common then. It was the craziest four years of my life. It's fascinating though. Your parents must be pretty well off to put you through school that long. Well, the first time around I got a scholarship. The second time I... Got bored? Well, they paid, and I figured it couldn't hurt to learn more. Expand your education. Exactly. What's Snappy's? It's a restaurant. Is it local? I've not heard of it. It is. It's Italian. It says here that you worked there for 10 years. How old are you again? 29. But again, I stayed because I wanted to finish school. I'm not judging. It shows commitment. Stayed at a place since you were 19 years old, and that's impressive. Now, at this job specifically, uh, it's going to be a much different environment, much more corporate. You're going to be utilizing skills that you probably aren't used to. I need to know that you're good at working under the pressure. Would the pressure be necessary? Well, I was living at home until you were 29, and having your parents pay for school necessary? That's a little personal, don't you think? It's just a question in the same vein as what you asked me. No, it was not like that. Look, are you sure you're cut out for this job? You come in here, putting yourself on a pedestal, making all these demands, and acting like you're better than everybody else. Did I say something to upset you? Not at all. Then why are you being hostile with me? Because I'm the boss. I haven't even started working here yet. And you're not gonna with that attitude. By the way, nice ponytail. What's wrong with my ponytail? How many guys you see out there with ponytails? Sounds like you're discriminating. If I were discriminating, I'd hit you in the face. No, sir, that would be assault. Okay, look, you seem like you've got an answer for everything. Answer me this. Our company stock is down 40% in the last eight months. How do we stop the plummet? I'm not your employee. It also sounds like you're divulging company information. Is that so? There is no, is that so? That's exactly what it is. By the way, do your higher ups know the extent in which you converse with people, especially in a professional setting? They let me do what I want. Oh, really? Sir, I don't think that- Now wait just one second. I came in here looking for a job. I came in here to be employed. It was my job to convince you to hire me as one of your employees. Now, given the context of this interview, if you can even call this an interview, it seems like you're going to have to convince me to stay and convince me to take whatever position it is you are offering. I find your whole approach in speaking to me to be 
malevolent in nature. What? It's a big word. You probably don't understand what it means. I know what it means. You just used and phrased it in a stupid way. Do you see this? This is my family. My nice, happy family. I moved out of my mommy's house when I was 25 years old to start my empire. My nice, big, suburban empire. That's some empire. It's cute though, you draw that yourself? My daughter did. Your daughter's drawing skills suck. My daughter's dead. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Look, I, I, I don't know why I said that. She's, she's not dead. Do you want this job or not? You're just going to give me the job? It's better than giving myself a heart attack. Biases aside, seems like you'd be an exceptional addition to the team. What do you say? I'm gonna have to think on it, Mr. Lee. Uh, it's Percival. Your name is Percival? Yeah, look, don't say anything else. I, I don't like it either. Well, Percival, I'm not sure this is some place I can call home. A great retirement and 401k? That's a long run talk. I need to know what I get now. I tell you what, I'm gonna boost your starting salary by 25%. That's not good enough. $10,000 sign-on bonus? We're getting a little closer. Look, man, if my higher-ups knew what I was offering you, I'd be in a lot of trouble. I thought your higher-ups let you do what you want. How could I quit? Wait. I'll tell you what we'll do. You give me $10,000 up front, boost the salary at 30%, four weeks of vacation out of the gate. We actually already offer all new hires four weeks. Six weeks then, with the ability to cash out what I don't use. You drive a hard bargain. What if I say no? I don't think you will. Why is that? Because I will tell the people who actually run this company everything you've said, everything you've offered. The assault threats, the illegal questions. Illegal questions? My age. Your age? I'll even claim you slandered their company's name. You're not gonna believe you. No. Oh. I would say coming on as a new hire with the demands I preferred, even the pot that you sweetened. Turning that down would be very telling, Mr. Lee. Not only to your employers, but also possibly law enforcement. And that beautiful family of yours. Didn't you say your daughter was dead? You got the job. With my demands? With your demands. I'm excited to start this journey here with you, Mr. Lee. Joke's on you, you're fired. Officially? Officially. I'll take my severance pay then. What are you doing? Currently, I'm thinking of a hundred different ways that I could kill you at the moment. You started this. You started this when you applied for the position! It's a very unprofessional way to look at it, Mr. Lee. It's Percival! Okay, look. It's clear that you and I have gotten off on the wrong page. <laughs> wrong page? We're not even in the same book. But, with our drive, our passion, if we applied to our jobs that we applied to this argument, We'd be unstoppable. I'm already unstoppable. <sighs> Hold on just a minute. Hey, honey, you're on speaker. You think I give a f you had me on speaker? How could you? <laughs> How could I what? How could you f my cousin? What? Don't what me? It's one thing to sleep with another person while you're married, but my f cousin? <laughs> honey. Babe, I, I can, I can, let me explain. No, you let me explain. You think you're the only person in this marriage sleeping around? <laughs> I've had my suspicions for a while. Why didn't you say anything? Because I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth, which I did, and it was my cousin. Wait, all right, hold on. Let's just roll.
roll this back a couple of sentences. Uh, you said that you were having an affair too. Uh, that makes us even. Oh no, that makes me prepared. You think I was gonna let you walk all over me, huh? He's taller, he's handsome, he's younger, and I'm packing my things up as we speak, taking the kids and calling him right now. You know what? Call him. Call him. I'll see you at the family reunion. <sighs> Seems like maybe we got off on the wrong page. Look, your resume is impressive. You got a good head on your shoulders and a good education. What can I, let me offer you the job. You gonna answer that? Nope. Answer the phone. I'm good. Answer the phone. Why is your fish blind empty? What happened to your fish? My fish is dead, Lewis, and I suggest that you pick up that phone unless you want to join him. I can't. I'm gonna count to three. I'm sorry. One. You are making a mistake. Two. I will mess you up, Percival. It's Mr. Lee! Three!